Hello, my name is Caitlin Huntington and I'll be your contact for all things Give to the Max Day related. I am so excited you've decided to become a Habitat Builder and support Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity on Give to the Max Day. I want you to be as successful as possible in fundraising efforts, so we created a quick video on how to create your fundraising page. Starting from the Builder email you receive, you can see all the information we provided for you, including our Give to the Max Day webpage and important dates. October 31st, all pages must be complete. Starting November 1st, begin promoting your page and then wait for November 13th for Give to the Max Day. On November 17th, prize winners will be announced. Now we've also included a PDF in this email, which is information and more resources for you to make your page. As you can see, we have three simple steps to create the page. We also included pictures to include on your page as well, and only one picture will be shown on Give to the Max Day. You can use these pictures we provided for you or one of yourself. So the first step is to go to GiveMN.org. This is the GiveMN homepage, and then click the blue sign up button in the upper right hand corner. Enter in all your information and how to make your account, including your email address and password. Then click register. This will take you to your account page. Mine is already completed and you can see I have a picture of myself here and then also see information on your donations. To edit your information, click on the green icon in the corner, choose a file to upload for your picture, and any other information you want to share, including your social media sites. This will be helpful in promoting your page. Now the next step is to type in Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity in the search box. Here is find the Twin Cities Habitat page and select it. This is our main Get to the Max Day page for Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity. Scroll down to the middle of the page and find the orange Start Raising Funds section. When you find it, select Start Raising Funds. This brings you to the page where you can name your fundraiser. Enter in a name that you want your page to be called, and we suggest having Give to the Max Day and your name in the title, something short. Select Create My Fundraiser. The next page you'll see is your fundraising page. Now mine is already complete, but I'll show you how to enter information. Go ahead and upload an image of yourself again, enter in goal information for how much you want to raise, and then make sure that this option for page visibility is shown. In the project story section, I have the pre-populated text we included in the PDF. But go ahead and make your own. Share why you love Habitat and why others should support it too. Don't forget to thank your donors as you'll see this message when they make a donation to your page. The next thing you'll see is matching gifts. Enter in that if you'd like, or also change the donation levels, which will be shown on the page. Right now it's set at default, which we recommend. When you're done entering all the information, go ahead and click the update button at the bottom of the page. Now the next thing you can do is add a photo. We suggest using a photo of yourself on a Habitat site, or you can use the photos we included in the email. When you're all done with that, go to the top of the page to go to my fundraising page. Now this is your completed fundraising page. Wasn't that simple? Starting November 1st, begin promoting your page. Also check out further emails explaining how to successfully fundraise among your network with template emails and social media posts. Down here, don't forget to share your page on Facebook and Twitter and use this URL in emails or sharing with other people. As a last reminder, pages must be completed before October 31st. Thanks for listening. I want to personally thank you all for being part of our team and supporting Twin Cities Habitat on Give to the Max Day.